What's up, my name is Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to create a new user on Debian Linux, give it admin permissions so we don't need to log into the root account in order to use our server through SSH. It's a very good idea to create new users instead of just using and living on the root account. So I've gone ahead and SSH'd into my server using Visual Studio Code. You'll find a guide in the description down below for this. You can see I'm on root at techno. Let's go ahead and create a new user here. I'll start by running sudo add user followed by a username. In this case, I'll make it test. So test at techno will be the namespace that I'm logged into after this. Now that we've created a user with the username test, we need to give it a password. I'll give it a simple password here and type it in a second time. Then we can enter some information about the account, though it isn't required like full name, room number, work phone, home phone, other, and of course confirm that it's correct. When we're done creating the actual user, we can give it pseudo permissions so it can use the pseudo command provided it types in its password. So I'll run pseudo user mod space hyphen lowercase a capital G space pseudo followed by the username in this case test. When we've done so, we've now allowed the test account root access whenever they use the pseudo command. If you get an error talking about pseudo not being recognized, run apt update and and apt upgrade. Then your server will go ahead and update. When it's done, we can run apt install sudo. And if it's not installed, it'll be installed now. Then we can run sudo user mod ag sudo test and it should all be set up. So let's see if we can log into it. I'll use su for swap user and I'll type in the username. In this case, test. There we go. We've now logged in. So let's try apt update apt install and you'll see permission denied. Let's go ahead and type in sudo apt install and this time you should see a response. We need to enter the password for our account and poof, just like that. Assuming you type it correctly, the command that you run will be run with root permissions from your test account or whatever you've called yourself. It's that simple. If ever you'd like to remove your account, simply change out of it. So I'll su into root and enter the root password here. Then I'll enter sudo del user followed by the username, in this case test. And when we do so, it'll be removed from our server. Simple as that. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.